One of the other things I wanted to bring up that we've never really talked about here on the show is this episode after bound for glory. That first impact afterwards is the one where we see Kurt angle attack. Dave Penzer. No other way to say it. He beat the shit out of Dave Penzer. There was an elbow that he threw and I just retweeted it. And, uh, you can go check my Twitter out. Uh, at, Hey, Hey, it's Conrad. And then he drug him in the ring was an elbow or a punch. I thought it was an elbow, okay. but it may have been. All I know is my man, Dave Penzer's face swelled up something serious. He had a bruise on his face and, and you can tell he crumbles and Kurt leans down, says something to him, gets him in the ring, beats him with a shoe, uh, slaps on the ankle lock. The damage is done. He crumbled on the outside. That is, we've seen a lot of, uh, snug and stiff stuff in wrestling. This was a damn assault. What do you remember about this? I wasn't watching it live. And the first, uh, I, I don't know, my first introduction or first realization is seeing Dave Penzer. Conrad, what a goose egg. If I remember correctly, that's how I'm like, what the hell? Um, yeah. I mean, he looked like a chipmunk. It's real. It's damn real. Uh, did Penzer owe Kurt money? Was, yeah, was I was gonna say money? I have I don't to this day. I but no I, I and Penzer, from what I recall, he probably will dispute it. But I just remember him taking it very professional. Not that he had a choice to get up and beat Kurt's ass, but uh, you know he he there wasn't a lot of bitching and complaining. And I you know very professional. Um, when maybe he didn't have to be is the best way for me to put it. Well, yeah, listen, I, I mean, it, it's, uh, it ain't ballet is the phrase that Bruce Pritchard likes to use a lot, but yeah, he took his lump. Uh, my goodness though, I'm sure it was a total accident, you know, and at the same time, Kurt's probably used to more movement in the course of a match versus a guy just. Yes. And that is season. not to defend Kurt, but sometimes when you work with non wrestler folks, you go, all right, they don't know how to sell. They may not sell back. They, they There's a lot of ins and outs. I got to make this look good. You know, you, you got to protect not only the business, but yourself and all that. So you don't mind being a little snug. With Kurt's mallet for hands, he was real snug <laughs> or stiff, or he threw a hell of a potato. It, it, there's no if ands, or buts about on this one. It's unbelievable. Go check it out on my uh, social. I think you'll dig it.